Right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the final hero section design challenge video. Today I'm going to attempt to create something with a patterned background in the hero. Historically, I don't think I've ever had any success with this, so let's see if we can do it. We are going to do a fashion jewellery range. So we've just got a little bit of copy here, so summer range out now. These are going to be our nav links. We've got some chat GPT generated uh, copy here because Nick's busy. And um, we've got shop the collection, that's the call to action. And then we've got this rich black. So we're gonna do kind of like black on white kind of vibes. We're gonna get some pictures of some necklaces or something going on and we need a pattern in the background. So we can either create a pattern, um, but in the interest of speed, we can come to hero patterns here, this website heropatterns.com and it's got a bunch of cool infinitely repeatable patterns which look great and I am going to take these falling triangles and um, so it gives you code if you're going to use this in a website or something but you can just download an unstyled SVG and here it is so I'm just going to grab this from my other screen and pop it in here so all you get is this one little tile and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option or alt copy them so they're side by side, select the two of them, shift A to auto layout, and then I'm just going to command B to just duplicate a bunch of these. Good. So it kind of fills my screen. So a couple more in there, and then we'll do the same again, but in rows. So now we'll auto layout these, make sure there's no space between, and then bash. There is our pattern, right? It's a little bit invasive at the moment. So let's have a look over here. So let's label this up as pattern because we're going to eventually want to lock this. I think it might look a bit more positive to have them pointing up rather than down. And that is good for now. And if I want to change the color of these, you'll see there's no, no option here. So if I click show selection colors, there we go, we've got that. So we can actually grab this color here and very easily just change the color of all of them there and then maybe let's go down to like 10 percent i've got a nice pattern right so for now i'm just going to get that pattern out of the way and that's what we're going to aim to try and get in here somehow so i'll copy big h1 summer range out now shop the collection we need a brand name so i'm just going to whack this on here and let's get some guides going first. So as always, I'm just gonna go with six columns, 120 pixels on the left and right. Now, six or 12, I like to do six, or I like to start a project with six because it means there's just gonna be less choices to make, which hopefully is gonna make my life easier. And especially in this situation, we wanna be quick. We can increase that gutter to 40. Then center this text. And then we are going to get a button. So we've got this copy here. I can just drag this in, turn my guides off. All right, so shop the collection, currently size 18. I'm going to go a bit bigger, maybe 21. I'm going to auto lay out this bad boy. 32 pixels left and right, 16 top and bottom. Give it a stroke, give it a fill. So let's actually, I want to get, I don't want to use pure white. So pure white can be a little bit of a flash bomb. It's a bit intense sometimes. Um, so if possible, I like to just kind of pull this slider down a bit and let's go with something that's ever so slightly off white like this. I'll update the fill of my button like that. And that's just a bit softer. It's the same with this black. Like rather than using pure black, we're using something with just a little bit of color and there's just a little bit of red in there to make it a little bit richer. Um, so something like that looks quite nice. We've got some copy here. Let's leave the copy for now. Let's do the nav bar. So we need a brand. So let's call it Jewel. And let's make it obviously a bit smaller. Obviously, this is not how you do a brand. You would obviously be given a logo. I'm just chucking something together for now really quickly so we have something to work with. And what I've noticed uh, in my life is that fashion websites tend to have the logo in the middle. You know, and all of these that we've done so far have been logo on the left, so let's just do logo in the middle. So I'm gonna split this into 
two sections. So I think we will have something like this on the left. So we've got collections. I'm going to auto lay out these guys all together. And when we're thinking about fashion stuff, we want to kind of use white space quite well, although this is going to be a little bit challenging with a hero pattern. We also need to get some actual visuals in there. Um, but as much space as we can get away with. So 48 pixels between those feels quite nice for now. We'll just line those up. And let's change this to about us. Up chip. And we'll just get this auto layout over to the right. And we'll line this one up to the right. And we will change these to which list. My account, maybe. But um, if we had more time, basically, I don't want to waste all of your time watching this video. So I'm going quickly. Just so I align those to the center. Um, I'm just going to do a card like this, which is, you know, looks quite sophisticated anyway. And already this is starting to feel quite premium and quite in the right world. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's get some images in. I think we can do something like two images across the bottom because we're talking about a range. We probably don't want to just show one image, I guess. Yes. We'll put an unsplash image in here, duplicate it and put another one in. So forward, uh, command forward slash to bring up your quick search. Unsplash is there as it's the last plugin I use, but you can just search unsplash. We can install it, or of course, you know, if you're working with a brand, you'll be supplied images. So let's search for jewelry and see what we've got. I would quite like, kind of like a model wearing one like this, or like this, or like this. I think a light one might be better. So she's wearing a white dress. That looks perfect to me. And then let's just duplicate this force it over to the right hand side and we'll run that plugin again. And let's pick the other image, the other one where they were in kind of like a white top or something like that. Probably should have left this open. No jewelry. It's quite nice, maybe. Let's have a look. Kind of cool, kind of earthy. A bit of a hippie vibe going on there. Right, let's get our spacing right. So I'm going to bump these guys up to 32 pixels from the top, and then maybe we'll move this up so it's... Mm, 32 might be a bit much, actually. So yeah. Do that by eye for now. If you put the pattern in the background, uh, the text is going to probably be difficult to read over the pattern, so we could put like a white block behind the text, and that might help. We don't have any room for this, so maybe we can pop this on the top of here. So if we give this an auto layout and give it a fill and we want to choose the same color as the background. Let's maybe go with 48 pixels here. Let's grab the text inside and make sure it fills the container. Then anytime we resize this guy, it's gonna kind of stretch across. And we don't want too many lines on one word. So sort of max 14 lines per word is a very rough rule. Um, if we line this to the bottom, see what we've got with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So elevate your summer style with our exquisite new collection of high class, sophisticated jewelry designed to embody the essence of luxury and elegance. Our summer range is a testament to craftsmanship and timeless beauty. Well done, chat GPT. That is nice. Right. I reckon we want to offset it a bit like this. So kind of in the middle of this image. Um, and if we're going to do this properly, uh, if we line it up to the guides here, so we know there's 120 pixels padding on the right, we want 120 pixels padding here. So if I bump this over to 120 there, and because we set the auto layout up correctly, I could just drag that in. It would all wrap wherever it needs to. And let's see what that looks like. Annoyingly, it is covering the actual jewelry. <laughs> Maybe we could do that, or maybe we could do it over here. Works for me over here. I think that's okay. That looks quite tidy. Um, right, 
cooking with gas background pattern now. So what I'm going to do before I mess it up, I'm just going to make a copy. I'm going to cut my pattern. I'm going to copy my pattern. So we've got the original in case we edit it. And paste it in here. Align it to the center at the top. And then I'm going to hold command option and left square bracket to send it to the back. So it's down here. I'm going to twirl up my layers so we can see what we're working with. So this is right at the bottom. And I think what we can do is we can move it down. So basically leaving the nav bar exposed. So if we can have 32 pixels put in there, that kind of works. So I think that's pretty good. Let's have a look at the selection colors and let's maybe drop the pattern down a few more percentage points on the opacity. I don't want it being too invasive. So that is good, but like we thought, we can't really read that text. So I'm just going to make another copy. And now what we want to do, the theory here, I think, is we want to split this into two lines and apply an auto layout to each line with a little bit of space around it and that kind of off-white background. So if I duplicate one, oh, this isn't in an auto layout. Right, let's auto layout this. And give it 40 pixels of space. Sorry, my computer tends to slow down when I'm screen recording and it's very annoying. Right, so if we delete that and then we delete that, this is what we want. So we're going to auto layout this guy. I'm going to start with 16 pixels padding. The fill of this. And I see because of the line height, and because of it's in caps, we've got sort of a different amount of padding top and bottom. So I'm going to click this button here so we can change them independently. And I'm going to bump that to eight, maybe six, like that. And now we can read that a lot better. So I'm actually going to delete that one. I'm going to duplicate this one. So I don't need to set that up again. And then what I'm going to do is we don't want this out now to be full width. We want that to hug. So at the moment, this text is set to fit. So if we say hug contents, that works. And then to get these closer together, we're going to nest a separate auto layout inside. I'm going to say we'll have zero padding, but I actually want those lines to be a bit tighter. So I can just hold shift and press down and we can apply some negative in here. You see there it's covering up that text, which we don't want. So that seems pretty good to me. So I think that kind of looks pretty good. So straight away, you know, we've got some nice luxurious fonts, quite obvious what the call to action is, quite easy to get shopping, but we can navigate the site quite easily if we want. We can see some nice jewelry here, lovely. And we've got this nice bit of copy here, which might lead us down into the next section of the page. I like it. I'm going to say that that is a wrap and that is a sort of record design for me. Now, again, right, as I've said in other videos, this isn't the best design in the history of the world. This is like a good place to start. So maybe what I would do now is perhaps do a second version with a slightly different layout. You know, maybe the, the text align to the left and images on the right maybe do two or three, then discuss that internally with our team, you know, get some feedback, make some tweaks, and then we would present like a concept to the client and go, you yeah, something like this. And they may say, yes, brilliant, perfect, run with it. Or they might go, oh my God, we hate the font, um, but we love the pattern or we hate the pattern, ditch the pattern. And you know what? If you ditch the pattern, it looks really nice. <laughs> but yeah, this is the challenge here is to get a hero pattern to work and I think this kind of works. Let me know what you think down in the comments. This is the last of our hero challenges. If you've followed along or done any yourself, um, well done, thanks very much. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to get a couple of us from our team on a video at the same time. And we are gonna go through, anybody who's submitted us work, we're gonna go through that and we're gonna give some feedback. And then Nick, our kind of art director, branding guy, is gonna give me feedback on all of the five I've done, um, which might be quite embarrassing. He can be a bit hardcore, um, but it's really good to get that feedback from an art director. 
And, you know, I always get annoyed with him when he gives feedback, but actually then we end up with a much better product at the end of the day. So that's it. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like, please subscribe. It really helps us, really helps our channel grow and gets a bit more exposure, gets these videos out to more people who maybe need them and um, have a great day. See you soon.